Abortion rights could be enshrined into Nevada's constitution depending on which way voters cast their ballots next week. Thanks so much for joining us at 6. I'm LaToya Silman. And I'm Jim Snyder. We're doing our best, best to bring you all the information that you need. Question 6 would protect the right to an abortion until fetal viability. And News 3's Tiffany Lane is here in the studio to break down exactly what that means. Yeah, right now, Nevada law allows abortions up until 24 weeks, but having it amended into the state constitution would make it harder to overturn. Now, this plays into the ongoing discussions around the country on abortion following the overturning of Roe v. Wade back in 2022 and how state and federal law impact one another. Nevada ballot question six that would enshrine abortion rights into the state constitution would have to be approved not only this election, but also in 2026 to be amended. This would provide um, a more flexible standard and it would be placed right in the Constitution. So that would make it even more difficult for state legislature and governor to repeal that without getting permission from the people first. Right now, there are nine states with proposed constitutional amendments on the ballot for abortion rights. Dr. Rebecca Gill, an associate political science professor at UNLV, says if passed, the amendment would look a little bit different than the current laws in place in the Silver State. This amendment um, is pretty specific about definitions of the different concepts. Um, and one of these things is um, defining um, this right to access abortion um, up through viability, but specifying that viability as determined by the patient's provider. Monday, Democratic leaders led by Nevada Congressman Stephen Horsford held a roundtable sharing concerns over risks they claim could be posed by Project 2025, the Heritage Foundation's right-wing document for the next Republican administration. The project would reverse federal approval of the abortion pill and exclude the morning-after pill and men's contraceptives from coverage mandated under the Affordable Care Act. Trump has tried to distance himself from Project 2025. I don't know if you've noticed, but Donald Trump speaks for himself. Project 25 has no relation to the Trump campaign. This while reproductive rights, a major platform for Vice President Kamala Harris on the campaign trail. Real harm has occurred in our country. A real suffering has occurred. People have died. The Nevada GOP in a statement to News 3 says, however, that if reelected, former President Donald Trump would support, quote, the rights of states to make decisions on abortion and has been very clear that he will not sign a federal ban. Horsford says he doesn't believe it. A hundred of Donald Trump's former uh, staff who worked in his administration were involved in drafting 900 pages of policy that are now the Project 2025 playbook. Leading Democrats from Nevada say a national ban would overpower any state laws. It will supersede uh, states like Nevada um, and uh, my home state of Massachusetts. And that is the exact point of the extremists that we see that have taken over the Republican Party. I asked Gill about the likelihood that a national abortion ban could realistically pass Congress. I think it would be incredibly difficult to pass um, through Congress a national abortion ban, um, mainly because that would require quite a large shift in you know, the partisan makeup um, of Congress. Now, one thing to keep in mind, Dr. Gill says, while legislatively it would be challenging to pass a federal abortion ban, there are some statutes that could lead a president's administration to enforce a national ban. It could be challenged by the courts, but with the makeup of the current Supreme Court, Gill says it's not unlikely they would support it. Now back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Tiffany Lane, for breaking it all down for us.